Welcome, finally, to a Timu haul. So this is my first time trying Timu. Now the clothes I got, I already tried them on. I already took them out of the package. Wanted to show Salah before I try them on for you guys. And um, yeah, so we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I also got a few cosmetics and some shoes and stuff like that. So um, we'll get to that here. But first, the main reason I never tried Timu is I was just afraid that it was like all, you know, cheap stuff and not good quality, that it would take forever. It didn't actually take too, too, too long. I don't remember the exact date we ordered, I'd have to go check, but it seemed like forever, but it actually wasn't that long in the end. They do compensate a bit of money back if they deliver outside of the window that they say. So, so that was the main reason behind it, but I recently was looking for a plus size burkini. Burkini is a Muslim modest swimwear. I don't know why they call it burkini, burka, burkini, a bikini, but it's not actually a bikini. So I thought I would check out Timu and see, give them a chance and you know, see what they got. I'm also not wearing any makeup. Hi. I'm also not wearing makeup because I want to try on the makeup items with you guys. Okay. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to try on is the burkini, the modest swimwear I got. So here it is out of the package. This is the top. Comes with like in built in cups to cover your breasts in case the water is cold. <laughs> you catch my drip. It also comes with leggings with built in underwear, like you know how swimwear bottoms do. So built in liner, I should say. So these are the leggings. Very stretchy. The material is very stretchy. It's like swimwear material. Why is the light so bright in here? Okay, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, it's very stretchy. These are the leggings. So let's uh, let's give it a try on, shall we? Yalla. Okay, guys. So this is the swimsuit with the hijab. Okay. So the hijab was bought separate. But here's the swimsuit. This is a 5X and uh, the biggest size they had. I actually really, really like the way it looks and fits. So yeah, from the side, it comes with the leggings and this swim top and it has built-in uh, underwear and a, a built-in bra and this part unzips here so yeah um <laughs> very modest very cute um i'm actually really pleased with the timu swimwear so yeah i got just uh, an extra hijab with it uh, under cap but i'll use it for swimming but the material is kind of see-through which is not good i don't know this one is not a see-through but um yeah, it's not swimwear material, it's just like normal material, so, but that's okay. Um, all right, now I also got some pajamas, which I did try on. These fit nice. Um, they were a 5X. I got all of the clothes in 5X, by the way. <laughs> so these are just some shorts for lounging around at home. The material is very comfortable and light. Just some really nice, cute little PJs. Yeah, those are the bottoms. I will not be trying those on for you. I tried them on for my husband and he loves it. He loves the material. So yeah, I like it. I like comfy PJs because I love spending time at home, especially in the hot summer. So this is the top, which is short, but the, the, the shorts ride high. So it covers, but even if it doesn't, so what if you're at home? So very nice. And yes, it does fit perfectly. And the clothes come in these nice little zipper bags. So, you know, if you want to return them, you can do so, which they do have free returns. Okay, so I'm gonna try on this shirt dress that I got. So it's kind of big to show you in the camera, but it's a shirt dress. I like the color. I do have a green hijab I can wear with it. So I'm gonna try it on. Let's go. Actually, I'm just gonna try it on over my shirt because it is kind of big. Now I do have a sweater on underneath, but it's pretty big. The material is like light t-shirt material for the summer. So yeah, it's, it's comfortable, you know, and it's not see-through. So I don't have to wear something underneath it. So I like it. It fits and it's light material. Now I find that depending on the clothing piece, the piece of clothing, everything is like, as for fit to size, like does the size, is it true to size? I would say yes, but it also depends on what the material is, what, what you're ordering. But generally everything that I've tried fits. Look out for Asian sizes because those are usually made small. And they do say that on the on the site if it's an asian size so the last piece of clothing i got was um this and i i want to say that i just wanted to try a few things before i did a huge order and have to return them it's kind of a pain so yeah i'm just gonna get a few things if i like them i'll probably get more but um 
these clothes were actually like really affordable. I'll try to put the prices on the things I, um, I show you, okay? So this is another dress type of shirt, like tunic, I think it's called. This is more of a thin sweater material, which I thought it was just like shirt material, but it is pretty thin. So I think it'll be okay. Let me try it on for you guys. So it is very comfortable and it's made, I find a bit big, excuse me. It's actually um, cinched in, like it divides your body, like, you know, upper here to lower here. And I find with baggier abayas and baggier clothes, it can actually like make you look more dumpy. You know what I mean? Like shapeless. So, okay, okay, okay. So that's what I like about this. So I'm gonna keep it on, I guess, for the remainder of the show. Uh, for footwear, juice. For in the house, my kitchen shoes, yes, I have kitchen shoes, are very um, like worn out, but these are just for around the house, I guess. They're very like cheap, but they feel soft. They have a cute, like, let me try them on. Wow, okay, they're very comfy. I think I'm a size 39 in feet, row size. So they are pretty comfy. Wow. I'm super mad because I did film this part already, but mid filming, somehow I turned my mic off. I don't know what happened. So the unpackaging of these things is not gonna happen again on the, the um, video, but okay. I tried these on, they fit very nice. But they're a little big because they're a size 40. I don't know why I got a size 40, I'm a 39, but they're very comfortable. It's like walking on air kind of. Um, I'm so nervous my mic is gonna turn off. So yeah, so these so far are pretty comfy. So I'll just make sure to wear socks with them and they won't be as loose, but they're very cute. And uh, they give the Skechers a run for the money for a fraction of the price. So yes, they do look good. So I also got this peach, it looks like Too Faced knockoff, peach moisture, peach and sweet schmecky lip color. So I do have a bit of remnant on it from when I was filming without the volume. There's a slight peach scent. It is moisturizing. I'm just done with matte products. I don't like them. So yes, um, this is the peach lip gloss I got from Timu. It is like a gloss, but like with a light tint, but it does stain your lips pink. So yeah, and there's like a light peach smell, <laughs> but I like it. It's okay for the price. Yeah, this you're gonna laugh at me, snow bleach. Now, as you can see on the cover, um, wherever there's chub rub, if you're a bigger girl, I don't know, you know, you know the struggle. Wherever there's chub rub, there's gonna be a bit of discoloration, like a dark, darker color to the skin, where the sun don't shine and the air doesn't get too very often. I'm gonna try this for that area, like the chub rub areas to see if it works. It just bleaches the skin a bit, so yeah. Um, you can put it in your armpits, your, near your private areas. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna try that out. I also got a mascara. Uh, we'll just see, I usually use Lash Princess, but it's all dried out and finished. So we'll see what this is like in black color. Um, I think it's waterproof. So yeah, I got a mascara. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I got some faux mink lashes. They look pretty intense, but yeah, I just I find my eyes are so beady these days. And I got some waterproof lash adhesive. So yeah, I'm gonna give lashes another try. I got some cute sockies for the shoes. I don't usually wear socks, but the last time I went walking for a bit with Salah and with my Skechers with no socks, I got bad blisters. So lesson learned. They have cute little smiley faces on them. I like this color of sock and they're ankle socks. I always wear ankle socks. I have some green ones to go with my new shirts, pink, brown, and white. I also got a beach ball for the pool or when it cools down a bit, or the beach for the beach. Good exercise, fun to play in the water, blow up beach ball. And I got Timu hair fibers. Where's the uh, other thing I got there? I'm trying to improve my hair because the back like is totally normal and long. The front is thin, as you know. So I got dark brown hair fibers, um, building fibers. They look like they're the same ingredients as topic you they're so expensive topic um this is super cheap so let's see how it goes but you know my husband hates hair fibers like he likes to touch my head and he doesn't like when the transfer gets on his fingers i say just touch the back of my hair not my the top of my head so yeah so i got that i also got this we'll see how this goes but it's like a little hair piece like a little wig and it has a clip on it's like for the crown crown of your head so yeah so with that in the hair fibers and some hairspray Hopefully that will make my hair look, you know, thicker, fuller, but it does match my hair color. This is like the color of my hair, so. Okay, and I got these. I really needed these. These are just bobby pins. If you're a hijabi, you know, you tie hijabs here to tie them to your clothes. You need a lot of these bobby pins and they were dirt cheap. I also got some wax strips because sometimes I get some hair here. A couple hairs that return here, they're very stubborn. So I got some wax strips to wax the hair off. Probably cry like a baby, but whatever. 
and last but not least, I got a brush because I don't have a brush. I use a comb and so just one brush. It's easier to get through the, the knots in your hair. So yeah, I took out everything out of the package already. And I'm so mad that it didn't record the, like I turned my mic off. I don't know. But anyway, so this, I, I have a brush as well. So overall, I would say I'm very impressed with the quality of the Timu products so far. If you guys like the hauls and want to see more, please like this video and leave me a comment with your opinions on the stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll try on the makeup in the future and let you guys know how it goes. I just try the lips, lip gloss on, but it's very light. It is moisturizing and it tints your lips. So I think it's really pretty cool for the price. So yeah, I think Timu is very affordable. The clothing is, you know, it fits well. So I'm very surprised by that and I don't really have any complaints. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.